Thank you for watching My News 26. I'm Paula Jasper. Today we're in Mackinac City at Golfing Point. And joining me is Jim Tamlin. Thanks for joining me, Jim. Thank you for having me. Now, give our viewers a little bit of the beginnings of this lighthouse. Well, the, the lighthouse itself, McGolfin Point Lighthouse, was built in 1868, turned on in 1869, and then turned off in 1906 because they had built another lighthouse uptown which had a better view of the South Channel. So for the last 100 years, this has been a private home, and in 2008, Emmett County purchased it. 2009, it was relit and opened to the public. How is it different now from when you originally purchased it? When we purchased it, it had um, no lantern on the top, and the people that lived here had taken really great care of it. Um, so we've added interpretive boards. We've added. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, 1800s furniture donated. We put the lantern back on the top. It's relit as an actual working lighthouse. So there's there's been a lot of changes. Every year there's more changes. And there's lakefront. Uh, we have 400 foot of lakefront on this. Yes. How much land is here? Uh, ten and a half acres. Now this property is extremely rich in history, isn't it? It 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 is. It's um, one of the oldest deeded properties in the state of Michigan. It's the oldest deeded property um, in Emmett County. It was uh, homesteaded by the um, by the McGolfins. They were British soldiers that came in the first one came in 1761. Um, it was given to um, a land grant to the McGolfins in 1811 by the fourth president of the United States, President James Madison. Wow. Now this place you have open to the public, free of charge, donations are accepted. It's extremely busy here, isn't it? It is very busy. People love it. <clears throat> uh, you know, we get, um, this time of year, we get a lot of homeschool children that will come in. Um, it's, a, it's a working vacation for them. Now I know it's a work in progress. What are the things that you're working on now? We're working. What we're working on now is we're building the barn, which is right behind us, and um, we have just put our first uh, um, interpretive displays on the trail that goes down to the lake. We've got a beautiful trail that goes, to, you know, that we have 400 foot of beach here, and so there, are, both of those, are, um, you know, we'll have more added to them. Now it's interesting why you've placed the barn where you did. The original site, uh, archaeologists were able to find it quite easily. And they said, there's so much stuff in the ground here, we really don't think you should put, a light, uh, put the barn back on the top of it. So we moved over 50 feet, had the archaeologists look there, they found a bunch of stuff there. So then we moved it over another 50 feet, which was clean, and that's where we put it. So the archaeologists can come back in the future and take a look at what is underground there. And people can go up to the top of the lighthouse? Yes, it's, um, it's open to go up to the inside, and you can actually walk around on the outside. How has the outside changed? Um, Originally it had three cables around and we decided if we were ever going to let people go out there we really needed to use a cage type um, fence around it. This is a Michigan lighthouse fence so we did change that for safety. Okay, Tell us about your big rock. Um, in 1749, and I know I'm going to butcher this name, but there was a Frenchman, I believe it was Labonair, who wrote a letter, uh, was sent here by the French to analyzed this fort at the Great Lakes and what they had here. And he talked about this rock. He, he said there's a one mile, uh, one league west of the fort, there's a rock that's seven foot tall that the Indians tell him is sometimes underwater and sometimes high and dry. And he said that leads me to believe that the Great Lakes cycle up and down as much as eight foot. Interesting. Now exactly where are you located? Uh, we're on the western city limits of Mackinac City. So if you go out Central Avenue, there, it's signed all the way out. Okay. Thanks for joining me, Jim. Thank you. Paula Jasper, Minus 26 in Mackinac City.